we've looked at two examples, one of which was um, rolling 12 dice, 12 fair dice, okay? And we were looking at the probability of getting three sixes. Now, in the situation, in a situation like that, what we have is that we can either get a six or we can't get a six. So, in effect, you have a success and a failure. So, if um, a situation can be such that you either have success or failure, you have two probabilities that you're looking at that are adding up to one. Okay? So, the fact that you're looking at two, from the word two we get by, and so this is where we get the binomial distribution, okay? So, we say that if x follows uh, the binomial distribution with a given number n, uh, independent trials, uh, where each trial uh, has two possible outcomes. So either success which we would write down as P, or failure, 1 minus P. Then we say, or we write, okay, that X is a binomial distribution, okay, so this is the uh, shorthand notation. X is a binomial distribution with an n, uh, n independent trials with a probability of success P. So when we set up a problem, this is what we want to write down. Now this is a curvy line, a, a little tilde. Okay, it's telling me that x is binomially distributed with n number of trials with a probability of success p. Now, in uh, S1 uh, that we're studying here, we're, we only look at the binomial distribution. But as you go on further, you will meet other distributions. Okay. So X is binomially distributed with N independent trials and a probability of success P. And individual probabilities, so the probability of X being equal to a particular value of X is, okay, well I just want to get this right, N choose R, so N, N, C, R, R, times the probability of success, okay, to the power of r, times the probability of failure, so 1 minus p, to the power of n minus r. Okay, so this is the formula that I've been working with and building up over the last two videos. Now, this is in the formula booklet, but not quite as that, okay? So, I'm just keeping an eye, having a look at a formula booklet. There one is. There it is. Okay. So, formula booklet. Now, if memory serves, it appears in a couple of different places. Okay, so... Um, on page 9 of the formula booklet, you're told that the probability of x equals r, so it's just a different letter here, is equal to ncr 
times Q to the N minus R times P to the R. Okay, now in this case, Q is just 1 minus P. So instead of writing 1 minus P, they're writing Q. They've just reordered these two things, and they've written this as NCR rather than NR in a bracket, like I've done there. Okay? But that's really the only difference. And it is given to you. That's on page 9. So in the coming videos, we are going to be working with this formula to solve some problems.